what's up and welcome to yet another video now it's quite an interesting time to be an iphone user in general ios 14's got tiktok influencers flexing their aesthetic home screens while android users are witnessing their counterparts marveling over features that have been around for quite a while now but if there's anything that's really gonna stay a constant as we approach this holiday season it's the vast array of quality iPhone apps and widgets that are on offer that could possibly prevent the perils of procrastination and help us stay somewhat productive. Now I'm gonna be sharing my personal iOS 14 setup in this video, as well as some of my favorite apps and widgets that I tend to use on a daily basis. And before we begin, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and click on that subscribe button as well as the bell icon for notifications so you won't miss out on a video and to support the channel as well. All right, so if you can already tell, I've gone for a relatively minimalist home screen setup here, and I've made a conscious effort to compartmentalize my pages into a general utility tab that gives me a quick overview of the basic things like date and time, battery levels, my health stats, and the weather. And the second page features all of my productivity widgets, ranging from reminder and journaling apps, as well as handy email clients. Every other page has been hidden through jiggle mode, Still can't believe they named it that. So I pretty much have two pages and my app library. That's it. So starting off with the main utility tab, I've made it a point to have smart stack set up for all of my widgets here to save space and maintain that compact look and to also get quick access to a number of apps. You can do this by hovering an app over another app. So it's really easy to set up. On the bottom left here, I've set up my go-to news app, Brief. Brief is perfect because it has a range of widget styles you can choose from that gives you convenient access to things like a presidential and senate race forecast tracker with prediction metrics taken from pretty reputable sources like 538. And quick headlines as well that keep me updated with the things I need to know for the day without them being remotely sensationalist in nature. And Brief is also renowned for being a truly unbiased platform which, let's admit, is in short supply these days. And to keep track of the weather, I'm taking advantage of an app called Weatherlines, which gives me an overarching view of what to expect for the next couple of days, as well as a chart line that gives me a quick idea of what temperatures to expect too. There's a greater level of granularity and customizability on offer if you are subscribed to their service, but the basic free version works just fine for my needs. Now for the other widgets on this page, I'm using an app called Widgetsmith, which is a tool pretty much every iOS customizing geek probably knows by now, so I won't spend too much time on it. You have an option of choosing a number of widgets straight through the app that can be categorized by three sizes, and you also have the option of customizing those widgets even further by messing with the fonts, tint, background, and border color. Okay, now I have my second page, which is all about productivity. I start off with my go-to email client, Spark, which I've featured before. The widget I've gone for allows me to get a quick look at the number of unread emails I have for each category, like notifications or news, but you also have the option of picking larger widgets, like an email list, along with a set of actions or a basic calendar. Now, the actions widget is pretty handy since it gives you shortcuts to things like a search or an attachment function, let's say, but it takes a bit too much space on my home screen for my liking, which kind of turned me away from it but it still is a wonderful option that could be used by many. But this brings me to my second productivity widget of a choice, powered by an app called Streaks. Now Streaks is great because it essentially serves as a habit and goal tracking app. And the widget I've used basically lets me know I've been making it a point to track my habits and complete them on a daily basis, leading to Streaks. You simply add a task like eating a healthy meal or going for a 5K run, taking your vitamins, whatever you want, set a schedule and frequency, and then tap and hold on a goal to signify its completion. Streaks allows you to display a widget that gives you an overview of all goals for the day, as well as how many you've completed. And you can even connect the app to your inbuilt health app, so it can give you an update on your activity ring and fitness metrics. Now the app costs five bucks and is the only paid app that I'm gonna be featuring, but I think it's well worth it because it gamifies the concept of habit tracking, and it's probably one of the best apps I've tried in its category, so definitely recommend it. Now, I also like the idea of having a quality journaling app to keep track of thoughts I have or to jot down quick ideas for a video or any epiphanies that might dawn on me at the time. 
And here's where day one comes to the forefront. This is probably my favorite journaling app on iOS in terms of design and simplicity. You can quickly create journal entries and even incorporate photos. The free version doesn't allow you to take advantage of audio entries, but I'm content with not having that luxury. And if you're someone who's trying to develop a habit of journaling your thoughts more often than not, you might benefit from the app's daily prompt widget that I've featured on the top right of my page here, since it gives you a general sense of what to write about as well as some hints here and there. You can simply tap on the widget and get started right away. All right, lastly, I've made it a point to incorporate a reminders widget of some sort on the productivity page of my home screen setup, and nothing really comes quite as close as Todoist. I have my to-do list and reminders widget set up at the bottom of the page, but the feature I find myself using the most on this app is boards, which basically allows for quick project management. I can create cards and sections and churn through them with a simple workflow. I also love being able to flag tasks with different priority levels straight through the app. So all in all, a solid productivity tool for your iPhone and made even better with a handy iOS 14 widget. But that's pretty much it guys. Hope you found that somewhat useful. Now, if you're interested in some of the elements I featured in this video, including the wallpaper and the icon set, you can find those right below in the description as well as a quick guide on how to customize them. But please let me know what iOS 14 home screen setup you're rocking as well as your general thoughts and make sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed the video as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers!